The Security Council finds itself in a most difficult position. Its members have long been keen to see the back of the Kabila government, but now it's been defeated, they face an electoral dispute between rival opposition candidates. They will, for now, rally around the message of the head of the UN peacekeeping force in Congo, MONUSCO, a call to avoid further conflict. I deplore all such acts of violence and appeal to the Congolese people and security forces alike to exercise calm and restraint in this critical period. The Security Council tried to discover if the provisional election result was an accurate reflection of the will of the people. The head of the Electoral Commission briefing the council from Kinshasa admitted the election was not perfect and had been conducted in an atmosphere of mistrust, but he stood by the result he's announced. The African Union and the regional body, the South African Development Community, which had observer teams on the ground, both broadly backed that assessment. But then came the testimony of Archbishop Utembi, his Catholic Church organization, Senko, had fielded by far the largest number of observers, nearly 40,000. The results as published do not match the data collected by our own observation mission. We have a recommendation to publish as quickly as possible all the records and minutes from the counting and polling stations to allow candidates to compare. But the head of the Electoral Commission said he would only hand over that data to the Constitutional Court. For now, the Security Council is focusing on the stability of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. But as the electoral dispute continues, maintaining calm and avoiding violence will become harder and harder. James Bays, Al Jazeera of the United Nations.